the atmosphere this year seems to be much more optimistic than in the previous years. I think last year people were beginning to feel a bit better, but they were still worried. But this year you get the feeling that everyone is looking forward and talking about doing new things and growth finally coming back to the industry. Maybe part of this is just being in America. Everything's always more optimistic in America. For our clients, they have a whole lot of things they're working on, but there's three key things which are really at the center of their attention right now. In Europe, we have T2S. We've been talking about this for eight years now, but next year it goes live. So that's a real key focus for all our top clients. Second thing would probably be T plus two. Now that's come up much more quickly and it begins next week in Europe. Generally speaking, it must be a good thing to see pre-settlement risk be decreased, but we've got to be careful that that's not replaced with operational risk. Third area I think would be liquidity. A few years ago, people were confused about liquidity. They even weren't sure what was liquidity and what was credit. But right now, everyone's focused on it. They have to show how they get it and how it will be maintained in times of crisis. Well, with T2S in particular, we've been working very hard for many years on it. And we've really been focusing on doing three things. Firstly, we've been involved in T2S to make sure that it works in the local marketplaces that are affected. Second thing we've been doing is using it to drive down our own costs. And for us, that means building up our international operations center in Lisbon. And what can be harmonized, we will do more and more there. Third thing would be with a small number of very large clients working on individual models that they want to roll out once T2S goes live. Generally speaking, it means taking more control of settlements, but we're not in a one-size-fits-all area. It's really different for different clients. And generally speaking, although clients are looking at it with us, it's hard for them to make final decisions because we still don't really know what the CSD pricing will be. Well, I think where we interact with them is really looking at the operational and the regulatory landscape in Europe. And I think it's becoming a bit clearer than it used to be. We seem to have an awful lot of regulations, but they're generally going in the same direction as the regulations in the US. So when you first look at it, it looks very confusing and very difficult. But when you boil it down to the real principles involved, it's understandable and seems reasonable, I think, to US institutions. On getting the operations area in Europe more sorted out, it's hard when you're looking at it from America. There's so many different systems, so many more countries, but we have a coherent single political system looking at it now, and gradually we're getting in the right direction. We'll never get to the same place as America, but it is becoming more simplified and more easily comprehended. <laughs>